So see them present a traffic stop, driving while black, the dangers. And I watched it. Um, nothing new, you know. Uh, you know, when you've been in different parts of the United States, you didn't see some stuff. You know kind of places that are uh, set up against you. When you're black in any place, it's set up against you in America because, I mean, they're looking for you to be a considered suspect, you know. If you in the South, you get caught in the back roads in no country, four or five good old boys in a pickle truck is just like the cops, so you just don't know what. So you know that could be a problem. If you're in a big town place and you're in an ISO place with a nice car or in an area, they're going to mess with you. So, I mean, you get it wherever you go. It's just certain things that you know. You know, they can show documentaries and all that, but they've it is nothing new. It's nothing new. Shoot, I remember... I got messed with a long time ago riding a bike, a 10 speed. So they say I was on the wrong side of the road when I, but I, I didn't put my, my brain at the time back in the day. It wasn't thinking, you know, but you ride a 10 speed bike, wrong side of the road. They say the lights and this, they try to use some game that could have been passed around, but it was the holidays. They're trying to get some bonus money and come to find out. That's what this special was on CNN. Cause they use that to make money off of you. You might not even think about certain situations, but yeah, they're looking at you as as they're looking at you as a pigeon to catch you. But yeah, when you drive while black, you know, um, got family in St. Louis, Missouri, and Ferguson, and so on. And I remember Chuck Berry, the late artist, he once talked about how he drove a Toyota, he drove a certain car just so he wouldn't get harassed by the cops. This is Chuck Berry, well renowned, the late Chuck Berry, saying this, and this is the reality. The reality, they will mess with you. They will mess with you. You know, or if they find out who you are, then they catch themselves. But this is the coldness. This is the reality of how, you know, uh, it's the realities. And they'll use all kinds of excuses about what they think could be a weapon or something, but that's not how it is. They see you as a black person in a car. They're thinking drugs. Or they're thinking they're thinking everything negative. I said this before and I say this again. They don't view black people as American citizens and they don't view us as humans. And that's just a fact. These laws are taught, learned behavior. They're not corrected. And this is the kind of situation that you encounter when you have to deal in these streets. And you have to be very careful to always have your registration, your ID, your credentials with you, have all your stuff up to date and comply because, and also keep a recorder with you. I would tell you to keep a recorder with because they're going to be, they're not, even when they have a cam, they'll still find a way to lie, especially when you're black, you know? So anyway, that's my thoughts. It takes up with that traffic stop CNN because it was very real and everybody had a story to tell on there and they were all, tragic and mentally jarring and this is just another thing that you got to deal with in america with three k's please hit like subscribe welcome thoughts and comments and i do respond thank you wash your hands keep your mind clear watch out for nothing share the video if you want to it's real i'm out